And together, this contact group has made it clear that we will support Ukraine's fight for freedom over the long haul and help Ukraine hold and advance during the spring counteroffensive. With unity and urgency, we will again deliver the support that we have promised to Ukraine. Ukraine has urgent requirements to help it, help it meet this crucial moment in the course of the war. And President Zelensky underscored Ukraine's need for more equipment at our last meeting in Ramstein. So we're fortunate to be joined again by my good friend, Ukrainian Minister of Defense, Oleksiy Reznikov. And Oleksiy, thanks for your leadership and for joining us again today in person. The Kremlin is still betting that it can wait us out. But one year on, we are as united as ever. And that shared resolve will help sustain Ukraine's momentum in the crucial weeks ahead and help Ukraine travel the challenging road that lies beyond. And looking around this room today, I know that our unity will only grow. We all understand the stakes in Russia's war of choice. This isn't just about Ukraine's right to live in peace and security. It's also about the kind of world that our children will inherit. None of us want to live in a world where autocrats can, to, can assault their peaceful neighbors, trample their borders, and bombard their people. So we've come together to stand up for a world where, where rules matter, where sovereignty is respected, and where civilians are protected.